All right, so let's go ahead and get started by going to Unity. So if you have a web browser, you go ahead and open a web browser. You can type in on the address bar. We're just going to say unity.com. It's going to take us to Unity. We can go over to where we see the icon on the right-hand side of a little person, the little portrait. If you click on the portrait, it'll give you the option, create a Unity ID or sign in. We want to just create a new Unity ID. It's going to open up an option now for us to um, add in some information here. I've got a dummy account, which I'm just going to place in here. And then I've got a password. We'll just put a password in here. And once we have the password, we'll do our username. Username can just be whatever you want it to be. If it's used by the community already, then you have to pick a different name. So we'll just say Unity Member 2020. We'll see if that one's used or not. Full name, we'll just say Unity Member. I'm going to agree to the terms and privacy use. You don't have to, but if you want to get information from Unity on a just kind of a regular basis, you can click that box. The I'm not a robot, go ahead and click on that one. It'll give you the uh, choice. You may get a pop-up that says, you know, pick images and that's fine. Just choose those. Then click on the create a Unity ID. Once it creates one for you, you'll get a confirmation in your email. And once the email comes through, we'll wait for it. There we go. So now we've got the information coming here. So this one, what it's going to do is give you the option. It's going to say, Dear Unity Member, thanks for creating a Unity ID. Link to confirm the email. So go ahead and click on that one. Need to verify to continue. Not a robot. Choose from a picture, choose the buses. And verify. So now we just want to go ahead and sign in with our email address and our password. If you want to be remembered on it, then click on the remember me. With this setup now, you can actually go in, you have your account settings. And this is basically going to be a spot for where you can use your projects. You can go to your dashboard, your organizations, uh, your archive projects, Unity ads, all the things that are going to be um, the core to Unity, um, whether you're in the Unity application, the program itself, or you're just using the, uh, all the additional features and things they have within the system. But at this point, uh, I would just suggest that you go through your information and go through it. Be sure that everything's right, location, time zone, preferred language, and all those, because this is going to track and follow you through the community, on the forum, uh, through the store, all those different places. And if you want the uh, two-factor authentication, you can also do that right here. So there you go. Now we have an official Unity ID and a login. If you did the remember me, then you should be able to not have to worry about going back to it. If you don't go to Unity for like a, um, a week or two weeks, it may log you out automatically and then you would just simply have to log back in.